<laughs> As I walk through this history, um, being on the road, being on a journey to discover what is it to be a human? What is it to be part of history? Part of history that's been here for almost three centuries, if not long. The land has been here for longer and it is the people who came to this land that we have to remind ourselves how we can preserve this history that much more that is so important and it's critical for our education and our going forward um, in life. And only then we realize the true amazing energy and the aspirations of life on earth. It is incredible to see the history just here behind me and in the most colorful on the sunset um, here at Kanganes in Minas Gracias state. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. To me, I am, I am ecstatically excited about this beautiful place. I only wish, I only wish every person who sunbathe, who go down the bar, who go down the shopping malls, the shopping centers, chasing an illusion of artificial facades, artificiality of life, only had the energy to come here and receive some of the energy from this land here, from history that can teach you so much how to relate to one another and how to be part of one another's life and how to share the knowledge and the know-how of life and what was life here before. And we are so far away from achieving that because of our shopping malls, our Coca-Cola, our iPhones, our iPads and our unsafe environments that we have created, the war, the poverty, the hunger, the homeless. There's no need for it, for no need for any human being to suffer. And education is the key. And these children are brought up in this history. And I only hope that they have a true and a very reasonable, a relevant education for them to relate to this beautiful history just here. And at the same time, extend themselves to the history beyond here. Hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> there you go. Innocent kids. They're innocent as you can be. Be honest. Be transparent. Let the kids be. Don't transfer your negative energy onto those children. That child start crying and only I said hello darling start smiling and start waving at them just acknowledging there was some human being there and they start and they start smiling the three little children start smiling with me and I'm not there to interfere with their life I only hope for the better and for the best of all our humanity that our world can teach each other and exchange and be an extension to each other all the time. <sighs> Look at this. Look at the vista. Look at the history. Look at the traditions. Look at the religion. Look at the architecture. There's a hotel just there if you wish to stay. The monasteries are no longer able to sustain and maintain the amount of infrastructure they have built in the past. So all they can do is actually invite tourists to come along and experience what was for an experience for a monastery, for a monk.